go. What is up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Drivecast. Today we are here with the the horse, Harry Potter, a serial killer, and Lil Weezy. And yeah. This is the Halloween edition, and everyone's scared. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, I lost this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Um, First hope to be annual Halloween special, uh, yeah, whatever. Halloween <laughs> special. So this is the uh, best we could all do on. Such yeah. Level. Okay. Like as you can tell, it's really hard for me to speak because there's no mouthpiece and it's really hard to breathe because <laughs> there's no holes in the nose. So all I have, like, I'm, I don't understand. I don't think you quite understand how hard it is to breathe in this. There's so much saliva around this area behind the mask. Um, well, you're saying that I'm watching a breacher and right? I just can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so this is Halloween Drivecast, and today yeah. we're going to be talking about a lot of important things. So it was a very bad week for it to be Halloween, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, we're going to be talking about Gran Turismo, Fast and Furious 8, our dream movie. What would be perfect for Fast and Furious 8? As well as uh, NFS 2015, obviously it came out earlier on this week on EA Access, so we're going to give our opinions on that. As well as that, we're also going to talk about future content updates we want to see for Neva Speed, and obviously answering your questions at the end, which you left in last episode. Now, since I'm struggling to breathe in this, I think Sean wants someone else should go and do the first topic. I think Speedway should do it because... What's the first topic, though? Oh, fuck, I can't <laughs> breathe. I can't breathe. Uh, okay, so Grand Turismo Sport. Um, well, like, the trailer has been announced. Well, it's not. it wasn't even the trailer. It was a little... We got to, a little bit of information about the game, and we all know that they, they are partnership with the FIA and the consequences that that will have in the game. And I don't know what you guys mean is about it, but, like, actually being able to represent your country as a real motorsport Competitor is fucking amazing. Like yeah, I actually, you're why. Like, you're why. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, I've got, I mean I've, I've, got question. I've got a question. So, is it basically okay? I'm taking the shit off. Fuck this shit. <laughs> so, um, is <laughs> is um is <laughs> Niner just did something great. Is it okay? Can can I go? Yeah, you can go. So, is Gran Turismo Sport basically Gran Turismo Seven? It's. I mean, I would. I would call it a reboot, or a, not a reboot, or a. Re it's so difficult to explain, though. Like, I, it was so out of the blue. Is it so? Like, is, I, like, is it Gran Turismo Seven or is it a spin-off? I, I would say it's a spin-off. It's completely new. For me, like, yeah, it confuses so, me. Oh, you know what else confuses me? Your mask. <laughs> I can't take Richard seriously. <laughs> this, is the best. this is the best. Hey man, I got a mirror castle right now. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, uh, how are we gonna have a straight conversation like this? Like, how how can we have a conversation? Anyway, um. Yeah, CJ, you know how to talk, so yeah, just you to, go. You, uh, basically, you... I think that this is actually going to not going to be a spinoff. I mean, the title, like, uh, no, let me rephrase. It's not going to be a spinoff. I feel this is Gran Turismo Seven because they're getting to the point in Gran Turismo's lifestyle lifetime where calling it <laughs> Gran Turismo Seven just kind of like turn what well, might start <gasps> turning consumers away. From the game, like they see, ah, damn it! It could be overwhelming for a new person getting into the game to see that it's the seventh game in the series, and they go, eh. But what if they look at a game that's say Gran Turismo Sport instead of Gran Turismo Seven, they could go and say, hmm, new game, do pick you, it up. Gran Turismo generally, do you think it's like too serious? Now, by that I mean like GT Three and GT Four, they were simulators, but they weren't taking themselves too seriously. If you know what I mean, like, like Snoop Dogg was in the soundtrack for GT Three, right? Yeah, I think it was, yeah. Like now you don't get that kind of thing. Like it's just not really as like it's, yeah, but it's more of a with, with oh, other in the it's a gentleman's racer, quote unquote. It, that's what it feels like. It's yeah. the gentleman's like you know how golf is the gentleman's sport. This is the gentleman's racer of racing games. What is Cam doing right now? Uh, no one knows. It can be Cam, but um, Gran Turismo Sport. I do feel that it's going to be part of the main series. I mean, I mean, uh, like. Like, it's so hard. Like, it happened the same with Need for Speed 2015. Like, it, it's so difficult to call it just Need for Speed or call it right here in this location, like, call it Grand Turismo Sports. Yeah, it's easier to call it Grand Turismo 7. 
Like, they, it haven't, feels more... they haven't called Gran Turismo. They haven't called Gran Turismo Sport a spin-off or a reboot. So, isn't it just the main game? I don't understand. They've been away for so long. It would make sense. But the no, broad, no, no a... company real says it's like it's a spin-off or it's a. It's kind of just like. Yeah. Forza said it was a spin-off with Forza um, Horizon. But that's not. Game Loft that's said. That's a complete different story because that's arcade. Well, Game Loft um, said that Asphalt really... Overdrive was a spin-off. It's of still a too. game. It's still a game. What are you on about? Yeah, it's still mm -hmm. a game. Gran Turismo Sport. It still follows in the same footsteps as say Gran Turismo Six would, but Horizon is it can very very different from Forza Four, in the sense that it's open world and it's like this you know. But it doesn't have to be a an arcade game to be a spin off. They could just be trying something new and as a marketing strategy it could be risky. So that's maybe that's why they're being so they're not naming it Gran Turismo Seven because people might not like it. If it's just if it's called something else, people won't take it as oh, that's not a main thing, so we can expect something better. People if they called that Gran Turismo Seven and they were doing something different and there's a possibility that fans won't like it then that could mess them up. So Definitely, to, to, yeah. To be, fair, to be fair, it's more just to create, in my opinion, it was just more to create an impact in the community because if it was just Gran Turismo 7, for I don't know how many years we had Gran Turismo and it was Gran Turismo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Having a game that is called actually different, like like it doesn't follow the same pattern, like would create a great impact, impact in, in my opinion. It's, all it's done for me anyway, it's build more hype for when yeah. GT7 comes out. GT Sports. So th just think about it, like now it's it's Gran Turismo <laughs> Spooky J, Spooky J. <laughs> 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 you know what, I'm gonna turn my light down in a minute, but um, no, like GT, G GT7 is the one I'm waiting for personally. So, you know, having announced GT Sport, it's something in the meantime, kind of like a prologue game. But like what if GT, GT, GT Sports is GT7? Yeah, pretty sure it's just GT7 with a But it's not new, called GT7, name. it's called GT Sport. Yeah, but it's GT7 in sense, but it's like acting as GT7, but it's just called something different. Well, what, what if Grand, the next Grand Turismo is not going to be called GT7 and it's probably going to be called GT Motorsports? That like, it could true. happen. I mean, it would be like Forza, what? but it's the first thing that came into my mind. But it could be called anything you want. Like, that's the yeah. main issue. Yeah, I don't even come from. I can't fucking stand this mask. Stop huh? being a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Uh, someone needs to introduce the next topic while I get this shit sorted. So just BRB. All right. What's the next topic? Can I? Uh, get... Yes. Yeah, yeah, you go. You go. Young yeah. the baby. Yeah, everyone. That was the time I could do this without him so... yelling at me. There we Fast go. Serious eight. We know that it's happening. There's even a goddamn release date for it. Um, yeah, there is. But the question is. is, what is it going to be like? Because there is a slight chance it could just be shit, like the last one. Come on, let's be honest, guys. For what what game? I, I wasn't here. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> anyway... Let's yeah. be honest, guys. Fast, Fast and the Furious oh, okay, okay. Seven wasn't really amazing. It, it wasn't, wasn't amazing. The only reason why it was memorable is because obviously the late Paul Walker. It was yeah, kind sure of a, it was it was kind of a tribute to him. Scar, scar, yeah. scar. You know what I mean? Oh and, my and god! It, it, it's sad, but the, one of the main reasons why that film got so many views is because he passed away. Oh, we don't have to be I just like. Yeah. I just like how they use that as a marketing tool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they use this death as as for profit. I mean, the game was. I mean, game. Sorry, the film was coming it, out anyway, so. It doesn't surprise. Yeah, me, but the, the case of Paul Walker like died, even like, even on Facebook, like people are still talking about it. I, mean, I consider it AIDS, but. Just... Yeah, it's just like he's been dead. Let ever the term "rip" means rest in peace, but. There's not much peace going on when everyone's talking about him still. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I can agree on that one. I think the thing with Paul Walker is, okay, yeah, he was a really cool guy. Like, let's be honest. If, okay, I need to be careful what I say because I'm going to offend someone here. <laughs> and I don't want to offend anyone because I fucking need a skeleton mask and it's not very <laughs> comfortable right now. Um, but, like, the reason people looked up to him is because he was cool. He was, like, you know, this slim 
Where's the door button at? Guy who races cars. Where's the door button at? Where's the door button at? Yeah. Who said that? Who said that? Who said what? CJ, that's really inappropriate. Yeah, CJ, you shouldn't do yeah, it. Yeah, CJ, what the fuck? What's wrong with you? I don't know what's happened. Anyway, carry on. Yeah, and like, okay, everyone's upset, and that's fine. But that shouldn't affect Fast and Furious 8 in any way, and it definitely shouldn't be used as a marketing tool. Okay, I But it's already, been used, it's already been used as a marketing tool when... I think Ben Diesel said that the this movie was for Paul, the one Fast and Furious 7, and the from Fast and Paul. Furious 8 is from Paul. So yeah, it's not a marketing tool. Definitely not a marketing tool. That's but we're using Paul Walker anyways. That is disgusting. It is fucking disgusting. Unless, but there, just, 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 um, unless um, the next movie, it's like... Uh, actual street racing yeah, and actually that, about yeah. the cars, not yeah, the freaking... Yeah, definitely. Freaking... Um, Boom, 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 Transformers. Boom, boom, boom. That director that makes boom, boom, booms. Michael Bay. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I, I, and so much The Rock. Like, Dude, The Rock, I don't know about you guys. I, I thought in the fifth movie it was actually cool to have him. But I, th I think that having him on the Fast and Furious 6 and 7 is completely useless. Yeah. Like, I've got the only thing that's Yeah. What is your favorite Fast and Furious film? Tokyo, Tokyo Drift, Drift, without a doubt. Tokyo Drift, yes. Probably Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift. It's just because it's so authentic and it's, it's, it's the main focus is about drifting exactly. and that's cars. I mean, two was good and so was one because they were both yeah. authentic as well. But like, one. yes, as, one. Yeah, one. I, just to, I just love Tokyo Drift so much. Tokyo like, Drift was very good. Yeah, it was very yeah. good. But look yeah. at right now at the current state of Fast and Furious. Like there's so much repetition in the series. And Kevin, like, let's, let's think about it. Tokyo Drift was kind of like a reboot in the series. It was kind of like a reboot. Like, not really. Sort of. Not really. It was, it was kind of more like it was a spin-off. Yeah. More of a spin-off. Spin yeah. How was it a spin-off spin when it's been? It's it was linked in the film. Not they at obviously the time, knew. Not, they yeah, not at the time. time. Not at the time. Not at the time. But what you're talking about is not that. Like right now, the big thing that this actual franchise needs is a reboot or a spin-off. Like that's my my opinion. Like I don't want Fast and Furious itself to end. I'm just tired of seeing being this all like going through every single explosion and not dying because I really want him to die now. I mean, I really love that dude, okay? I like that dude. But the problem is that I can't stank him anymore. He seems like a... It's too unrealistic. Guy. It's too unrealistic. It got then to again, the point it's actually outrageous. Then again, unrealism kind of um, was a key factor, but they're going too unrealistic. I mean, was, all this... Yeah, but now it's too much. All this pew, 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 pew stuff <laughs> bullshit now. But all the un the fun, unrealistic street racing type of stuff, that's uh, cool. Like, everyone doing these drums, jumps, high, like these high-speed chases with the street racers and stuff. Tokyo Drifts, like, a lot of that stuff's pretty unrealistic. You're not okay, going to find... Okay, so let's, let's, let's plan this out Drivecast style. So, let's say five chapters. We get to decide five chapters, and we get to decide what's happening in each chapter. And we'll go through each chapter, and we'll write this Drivecast style right here, right now, Halloween special! Yeah! Because DJ Cameron said so! Let's do what? it! So, um, chapter one. What <laughs> happens for chapter one? Okay, now actually, let's set the scene. What's the name? Obviously, we know we're going to get Fast and Furious 8, and it's going to be a sequel to Fast and Furious 7. But in our heads, do we okay, want a sequel, uh, or do we want a spin-off? Okay, spin-off. We want a spin-off. Alright. Do so we do want a spin-off that follows Sean? Tokyo Drift yes. 2. Yes. 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 Tokyo okay, so Drift 2. Drive class. We want a spin off that follows Sean from Tokyo Drift. Two. So, for me personally, although we kind of already saw it, we didn't really see it properly, but I would like it to left off, leave off. Uh, I, I would like it to start exactly where Tokyo Drift left off. Dom and Sean, one on one, race now, make yes. that bit happen. That's what I want to see. Yes. 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 Yes, it makes so much sense. Like, come on. With car car culture today as well, all, you know, Japanese imports are very popular at the moment. Um, I can just see... I, it, they probably won't do it. That's a, the saddest no, thing. This is, this is, this is Drivecast order. This is how we do it. This is how Come we from the ground. Direct this is how we direct it. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, we start off. Sean and Dom racing. We find out who wins, blah, blah, blah. And then after the race... Uh, you know, the whole scene from Fast and Furious 7 happens, and then we get a bit of an extended cut, and it gives Sean a motive to carry on street racing. Not blowing up people with RPGs, doing 360 no-scopes off of buildings, but street racing. That's fair enough? Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Any, yes. more, any interjections? If you get any interjections, say it's a discussion, you know, home dog's gonna be doing this front in straight, boom. So far, so good. Okay. I yes, agree. Great. Okay, so... so 
Uh, it's so hot under here. Okay, so, so... chapter two? Um, yeah, so chapter two. So, introduction and stuff's been all done. Uh, <laughs> Yang Mula, baby! Was I the only one that saw that? <laughs> I have an idea. Okay, go, please, please. So, after all that stuff, maybe, like, the next time, the next scene where it's a different night, they're all doing the street racing stuff, and then he he gets an offer from this one secret guy, I don't know, some guy that he hasn't met before, and he tells him about this drift event that goes across the entirety of Japan. It works. So, th basically, the run, but in Japan. Ah. And it's drifting. <laughs> Uh, okay. Drift yeah, event, I, 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 was, I was kind of thinking. I was kind of thinking this, like DK actually comes back and wants revenge. And didn't wants he to get die? Revenge. No, he didn't die. Yeah, I didn't die. Uh, I and he wants to get his title back. See, although that would be good, I think if it was linked to the story itself, like the actual Fast and Furious story, I think that make a lot more sense and it bring a lot more momentum. That's mm. why I say like. If that's why Dom gives him an ultimate. Say, say he finds out something about Han, uh, so the way he died, the people who did it. Maybe the Yakuza helped the guy do it. Oh, yeah. the Yakuza, yeah. And then, like, he has to, like, drift to save or something. I don't know. I want it to be cheesy. I want it to be a storyline where he drifts to save the world. Exactly. Like, that's what I want. That That is what... I know, Marcus Nielsen quote there, but... Yeah, <laughs> yeah but like, I want it to be a story like that. Fast and Furious shouldn't be shooty, shooty, pow, pow. Now, I'm not saying, you know, there shouldn't be any shooty, shooty, pow, pow, because I want to see a bit of it. I, like yeah, I want to see some. I mean, how the first I mean, one had a bunch. Just, well, you see, in... in, just, in I mean, let's try to be honest. Like, the first one had only one gun. He had a pistol and maybe one uh, small machine gun. And now we uh, see, like... The Rob uh, with the freaking the, the Jackie the full Chan, Rob's, Johnny the Chan full Tran gang. Robin scene, the, the scene where they machine. raided the guy, the people. The castle. Johnny Tran scene, they're up. Yeah, it's that's well, why. That, it, the, the thing is, it's, it's fine because it's balanced. In the latest yeah. Fast and the Furious, it's just like it's like, 80, it's like it's like eighty eighty percent action and then like thirty percent. How many how many races was there? Okay, let's say Fast three. Seven drag rates. I think. There was one drag. CJ, stop messing with that, you fucking da da da. Okay, God, you see you there da. messing with your nerf gun, not contributing to the discussion whatsoever. Hey, I contributed to the race. So. Okay. Anyway, so there was one race in in Fast and Furious Seven. The drag race. That's the only one I can yeah. remember. And there was no street was... races. At uh, the, if you uh, count walkers and. Been this whole cruise around when they separate. That's so, not a race. Yeah. That's just a cruise. So there was a race. Okay, so yeah. I, I understand that you've got to like stay with the times. That's what Need for Speed did. That's that's why it did the whole Hot Pursuit 2010 thing with all the you know cops versus race stuff. But now they're gonna bring it back because I don't know. I feel like they've they've departed so much from the original series. A, it's just it's kind of thrown away old fans. Obviously, you've attracted new fans in, and that's fine. But the only reason the last movie did so well was because Paul Walker passed away. Now, I'm not saying that's a good or bad thing. That's for you to decide. That's your own opinion. But what I'm saying is, if they want the next movie to do well, they can't use Paul Walker as a gimmick. If they want Fast and Furious to live, they need to go back to the core values. They need to go back to what made Fast and Furious so popular. Because let's be honest, during the 2000s, Fast and Furious was the reason why street racing oh. became so popular, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I, I want to say I want to say that Fast and Furious was the reason why Need Need for Speed had that transition from being cops versus racers. Yeah, to I mean, if you if you remember the first um like the trailer, the opening trailer to Need Underground One, where he's jumping yeah. over the um like, yeah thingy thingy my bob. Yeah, the bridge. Oh, this is like an identical yeah. scene. In Fast and the Furious, not the only Too uh, Fast Too Furious, not even the only game, Juiced, Midnight Club. Yeah, like there's yeah. so many games that did it. Not, it wasn't just Need for Speed. Like, yeah, practically all games were slightly, if not, you know, affected that by, by any means. Like even Burnout, you see lots of tuners in Burnout. I don't think yeah. there would have been lots of tuners in Burnout if the JDM culture wasn't so powerful back then. Yeah, um, and I think like if they want to keep it like living for a long time and they don't want the sales to decline because at one point it's going to get to the point where they can't use Paul Walker as a gimmick anymore 
Yeah, but the problem is that they are not going to decline. Like they, I mean, it's really strategic what they are doing because they try to sell this movie as a racing game, a racing uh, movie franchise. But they include action, so they mix two genre, two genres, which are actions and racing kind of movie. So it's like it gets the two kind of communities together to watch a movie. So it's like a really strategic way to make a movie. They like need they, to just, they need to realize what they are, and I, I think they need to make the races more meaningful. Yeah, in Fast and Furious 6, it wasn't meaningful at all. The, the race that they had with Letty and Bin, for example, it wasn't... I, I know what, what you guys felt, but I, I didn't get a connection or anything. In the, the first ones and the second one, when you saw, for example, the second one in Too Fast and Furious, when you saw the first Paul Walker uh, kind of like racing with the skyline, dude, that, there was a, like that guy wanted to earn money, and you knew that. And the race was fucking cool. So I, I you know, there was like, I, I think that the races lost their, I don't know, their shine. They're not like, they're not the same anymore. I feel like, okay, and, you know, you guys feel free to interrupt me here, but the fast is it the fast and the furious? Is that that's the fourth one, right? Yes, no, it's no, fast, fast, and, fast, and and fast and furious. Fast and furious is the fourth, right. and the fast and, fast the, and the furious, and the furious is, the is the first one. Fast and furious, the fourth one. I think that did street racing really, really well. That had a really yeah. good blend of action and street yeah. racing. And if that was a Fast and Furious 7, I wouldn't mind. Mm. Yeah. yeah. The ones yeah. in Brazil as well. I think it was the one after that as well. That did street racing pretty well. It got a Fast bit more action five. And you can kind of gradually tell the transition. But I think it still did a, a good amount of street racing to the point where I would watch it as a racing person. But now to, you can... To be fair, Fast and Furious 4 is one of the movies I really... Um, remember to be one of the best ones also like it's in top of my list because I really like the fact that Paul like Paul Walker Brian wasn't getting along a lot like so well with Ben for a moment in the film and I think that he braced kind of like the chemistry that they had throughout the entire series which is now really cliche and I really like that to be fair when they were racing for example that racing for Fast and Furious 4 you could really see like being this like dude I'm gonna beat your ass I can't legit breathe <laughs> all right um yeah i agree i agree completely so but like you you wait one more thing go for it is the thing about fast and furious 7 is you look at some old older fast and furiouses and you say that's a movie for a car person fast and furious 7 when you look at that and say for example you've never heard of fast and furious somehow if you look at fast and furious 7 you're not gonna and you go into the movie, you're gonna think that that's not a movie made for people who love cars. You know what I mean? Because it's just, it went through that transition from five to six. You could definitely see a transition from um, having it really involve cars with racing from, or to um, having it involve cars by doing heists. You know what I mean? I think, yeah. oh, I don't know. I think obviously we're gonna be a slightly biased because we are racing people, we're up with car people, so obviously there's going to be that slight bias. But I even think from a person's perspective of, you know, who someone who just watches it casually, I still think they kind of would miss that. Yeah. Yeah. Now, obviously, the casual audience, I don't think they take as much liking, say, to Tokyo Drift as they do Seven, but I think they would learn to appreciate the racing if there was a bit more in Seven. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, obviously, naturally, we're going to have that bias because, again, we are racing. I mean, they kind of teased you almost in Seven when they, were, they pulled up to Race Wars. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, like, it was what? In the <laughs> and like, five minutes of the film. And it, yeah. No, not so, even five minutes. I think it was just they arrived. And I was so, and like, I got, I was in the cinema. I can remember hyping over that. I was like, oh, my God, they're going to Race Wars. I thought that. I thought that was going to go back a bit, even though yeah. I've seen trailers of it and it looked all blowy up -y business. But... I don't know, I think it just needs no, to go back. I know what you mean, because they kind of used it as a marketing thing, like, we're going to go back to da 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 race yeah. wars. And they showed the race wars, literally all of it, in trailers, to make trailers. it seem like there was more in the film. Yeah, yeah. And that seemed did... really shady. Also, also they, they said, in, a, in an interview, they said that Hector was going to come back. And he, how much time was he in? I think it was like a couple of seconds. You know, Hector <laughs> from Fast and Furious 1? It was just... Um, the fat Portuguese guy. Oh yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, same with the other. Yeah, he got in, he came in, he got knocked out. <laughs> that was what yeah. happened. He got knocked out and that was it. Oh, that same was with it. the... Same with, um, Tokyo. And, um... Shit, I forgot his name. Don't Sean. kill me. Yeah. Sean. Sean, they hyped him up as well. Like, oh, we're yeah. gonna go back to Tokyo as well. With, the, with the song, with the, um, song and, um... Oh my god. I wonder if you know. No, 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 no. They played that. Um, da, 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 da. The, the first start. The first song, even. The first song oh, from, on Tokyo Drift, like when yeah. it's opening. Uh, you I, I, yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think he's got it. Yeah, I think he's got it. Monday. Yes. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, just appears and then we go back to bin. Yeah, it's like, oh, oh, we're in Tokyo now. Oh my god, is there a segment? We've got a bit in Tokyo. Great. Have you heard about and then the it new, ends. The new Need for Speed film. Uh, uh, yeah, it was, there's I an think, update. I think on. we've all heard about that. Yeah, because yeah. that, that was announced uh, a while. Ago. Ago. Have we ever even talked about that? I don't think we have, have we? I, I made a video on it like ages ago, but that's it. No, nothing okay, new has so, come out. Okay then, Mr. Video Person, give us all the details, because I'm still a bit... Eh, hungry. Yeah, maybe. From la This is from a while ago, but from what I've read, um, a lot of video producers in China have been interested in making a second Need for Speed game, and if they were to make this Need for Speed game, they'd most likely be using Chinese actors... Sorry, film. Chinese... Um, film, they'd be ma using Chinese actors for the film, so... What do and you mean? Because like, China would be making it, because China Chinese, wants to help... Like, Chinese... Actors. So as in Chinese language too. Yeah. Um, it might be in English. I'm not too sure, but it would have to be in English, wouldn't it? Universal, yeah. who own yeah. that title, are not going to sell the whole that film title to Chinese actors to make. What? I it I don't know. Like... It's, it's still really terrible. confusing. Like I really want to see a sequel. Of Nif it's not even yeah. Universal. It's DreamWorks. Yeah, my bad. Need for Speed is a great film. It, it was really promising. The first one was really promising. I think they needed a little bit more, but they can fix that stuff now for a second, for a sequel. It would be actually great. <laughs> Guess how much Need for Speed made? Need for Speed's made since its dawn, money-wise. How much? In what? In four in billion dollars. Oh my god! <laughs> That's four oh, fuck. billion dollars in the past two, twenty years. That shit has made four oh. billion dollars. Isn't it one of the top ten best-selling game series of all time? It has to be. But yeah. um, I yeah. think I mean well. Okay, so um, apparently it's poor. It, it was done poor amongst American critics. But the original movie did two hundred and three million. Sixty-five million of that. This is all in dollars. Was earned in China. Shit. I don't think the Need for Speed film was poor. Well, I was, ve yeah, was, I was very surprised film. at how good it was. Uh, I was like, I would oh. give yeah. it a solid seven out of ten. I was yeah. actually, yeah, good, I was yeah, expecting it to be bad. I was expecting it to be a poor reputation of Fast and Furious. To be fair, I actually like, like uh, it. the Need for Speed movie more than Fast and Furious Seven and Six, and I Same. said this on here a lot of times. Yeah, yeah, it was more about the cars, wasn't it? So. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, guys, I have just had like a moment. You know when like the cartoons when the ball goes on top of the head. Yeah. Need for Speed 2015, the film. I would actually shit my pants. Imagine that. Because think about it. If they're making a film, they ain't going to do the run. The run's happening, gone now. Need yeah. for Speed 2, the film. Illegal street racing. You're on to something. Riding, we stand right, Riding with your crew. Going <laughs> sideways. <laughs> oh my God. Side ride. ride. <laughs> yeah, boy. That's what I want from Need for Speed 2. You are. You are. I, I would say you're on to something because... It, I know the game's gonna do good. If you think Need for Speed 2015 isn't going to sell, you're an idiot. Okay? Need for Speed Subreddit! Need for Speed Subreddit! So thank you, Jay. Someone needs to say that because there's some unneeded hate on the subreddit, and I'm gonna add this to the topic list because that needs to be talked about. So, All right, I, I'm down. I'm down. I, I, yes. Let it's, gonna, <laughs> it's gonna sell, and they're gonna see them sales. EA and, and DreamWorks are gonna speak to each other. You know for a fact they're gonna be like, we but need to carry this on because it's making us money. Which means at least there was five hundred thousand copies in pre-orders. Yeah, so I mean, gold. That's what uh, Charlie told me earlier. Yeah. And and the thing is with that, now you gotta keep this in mind, it's not just the one game they've rebranded. They've rebranded the whole Need for Speed name, No Limits, for example. They've rebranded the, the mobile market. Now they've yeah. rebranded the console market. Film yeah. Film is the next one. Now we need a film, yeah. 
I, I like as long as they don't call it Need for Speed 2015 the movie, then. Well, bitch, of course they ain't gonna call it Need for Speed 2015 the movie when it's not even gonna be released in 2015. Yeah. <laughs> That's just your autism kicking in. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> anyway should we go on to Need for Speed? Then again, it's not unrealistic because the movie Blues Brothers 2000 was released in 1998. No, don't come at me. Would you try Dude, to like, you trying to justify your point here? You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, you whatever. Wrong, they're not gonna name a film that comes out in like 2018, 2015. What the fuck the point? Whatever, out? whatever. I'll just <laughs> okay. bye. That's like you, J that's like that's like <laughs> Jay's mixtape coming Red out Beast. in 2021. Yeah. CJ Red Beast. Wow. <laughs> okay, um, so um, are we gonna? Should we go into the 2015 opinions? Yeah, first sure. impressions. Yeah. Now wait, wait. Everyone we want... knows what we're gonna say here. Yes, CJ. Oh, sh we want to talk about the subreddit first, or this first? Mm. Look, look, look at the topic list. <laughs> look, at, look, look, look at the order of the topic list, and then come back to me. So. <laughs> okay, I'll be back when I'm ready. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? No. Just he carry just on, just scan. carry on about him. Okay, so, um, <laughs> so I think we, you guys know what we're going to say at this point. We all think it's amazing. Are you no. crazy? Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> so, Need for Speed 2015. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so, yeah, you guys know what we're gonna say. We think it's amazing, there's gonna be improvements. Now, we're gonna go around the table. One thing that you like about Need for Speed 2015, specifically, customization isn't an option because we all like customization. So, no! you go first because you're furthest left on my screen. Sorry, CJ doesn't. Who? Jay. Oh, um... Just the feel of it. Just the... The, the vibes! The vibes! The vibes. Are you feeling the vibes? <laughs> the whole, the whole, you know, aura about the game. It's so... Um, it takes me back to games that I used to play, and I haven't had that feeling in such a long time with games. I just feel like racing games in particular recently have been so bland and just... Yeah, they've been lacking really similar to one another there's not been anything that stood out at all i mean i'm not gonna slag forza off anymore because it's dead you know <laughs> <laughs> but, so, yeah. it's it's you know it just thank you ghost games that's all i can say i think the crew yeah. did a good job I'm yeah no yeah. sorry yeah, sorry fun. sorry 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 Obviously, totally but... forgot about Ivory Tower and the crew. <laughs> it didn't. Re I like the crew. I, I, it's a good game, but I, it doesn't give me the feels that maybe the update will. I haven't played the Wild Ring yet, so in the beta, I feel like I had those feelings you're talking about now. But then for release, I felt like I played it so much, it just didn't. It didn't spark me like I have with Need for Speed. Yeah, so, I know what you mean. Uh, Nina, yeah. you're next on my screen, so you're up next. Oh my god, Need for Speed 2015, like where, right when I went into the game, I'm like, well, I mean it kind of ruined the first experience sort of thing just because, well, we did play the beta, but when I ran through the game, I'm like, okay, I haven't played this in 20 days, I wasn't able to play this in 20 days, and I'm finally back in it, and not for good though, obviously because we only have 10 hours on the EA Access thing, but when I launched the game, and I saw Spike again. I'm like, not this asshole again. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I don't know, it's just, I, I like uh, having the connection between you, the player, as well as the characters in the game with your car as well. I, I just like how the Ghost Games made this game for everyone. They yeah. they truly made the game for everyone. Like, um, you know, they give you the option to, for example, the car list. They give you the option of whether or not you want to choose, you know, a really high end, say for example, a Ferrari F40, or you want to go to a Volvo 242. Like the car list is varied, and just everything about the game they did so right. And uh, you know, we, me and um, no, Jay died. No, no. But, um, carry on, carry on. Um, it, so me and me and Cam, we saw this one video by this one person, and they said that patches are that they they just he, basically what he said. He, he said patches to uh, indicate that a game is broken, and that's not the case because not we're gonna get content updates with those patches, 
which makes the game stronger in a sense. So yeah, what people don't realize is when games are broken nowadays, people will be able to fix them. But when they were broken in the PS2 yeah. era, you couldn't fix it. So they would cut content. They would like obviously nowadays people do shady things, but I don't honestly I can't say that I, I, I don't think Ghost would do that. Hmm. I, I, showing yeah. two years of development time, you know, all this like they go into the subreddit every single day, Ben walking the subreddit every single day, and then you got all the other developers on Twitter constantly talking. You know, the Ghost Games Twitter always going, the Need for Speed Twitter always going. I don't think they're doing anything. Shady. They're so dedicated. Yeah, they're yeah. really dedicated. And I'm not saying any other developers aren't. Ivory Tower, fucking, de they're, they're dedicated as fuck. Um, I, like, there's maybe one certain franchise who aren't, but, <laughs> like, <laughs> I just don't see them doing anything shady. And may I mention, that that uh, franchise I mentioned, they are doing things shady, and they aren't speaking to the community. Can you see the difference between those two things right there? Forza, uh, and I'm just going to I'm gonna say it right out here, on this DLC, big, um, was it, what was it called? The the uh, DLC, the map Big DLC. Surf? It wasn't Big Surf, that was Burnout. No, no, no. Uh, it was uh, Storm, Storm Island. Island. Storm, Storm Island. Island. That shit was on disc. Someone yeah. went into the camera mode and found it, like, using an exploit. And they found it in a really, really off location, and it was on the disc. Mm. That's shady tactics, and that's not being truthful with your customer. But, you know, Ghost and... You know all these other companies, uh, Ivory Tower. They, they, they. You can tell they care, like truly yeah. care. Um, and I think that's what ma makes Need for Speed 2015 just so popular and so well made. Again, we've said this so many times. I've said this so many times <laughs> in videos. They care. That's but I is. feel, mm -hmm. I feel as if you know, if you are going to make a game for you know for your customer. You know, Ghost Games, we, we praise them so much because we don't see many developers doing this. We should see developers doing this. Yeah. And this is why we praise Ghost Games so much. I mean, if they were doing this, you know, completely fine because they're making the game for, like I said, everyone. It's a community-driven game. And Forza, they're not interacting with their, with their community. Um, you know... It's just it's it's annoying looking at and Forza if they are, and having if, if, things if, sorry. requested. If they are not put in the game, if they ever interact with fans, it's always some sort of bias. Like they all, they only do it to promote them. So they, they don't even care. Like and, and if they you know, do, you, you see them promoting. Much. You see them promoting um like paint um YouTubers and stuff. Yeah. Um, people who do liveries and that. Now that's fine. You see that all the time. So okay, maybe they pay attention a little bit. But what about people who are pushing out YouTube content like Pigs? Air or Twelve. So yeah. it's so hard for them to do, and they're dedicated to it, and they do it every goddamn day. And they quite the, the nigga don't even. Sorry, the person doesn't Whoa. even know. <laughs> he doesn't even, you could have said that. No one would notice, but now everyone's gonna know. <laughs> he doesn't even know who. Freaking AR12 is, and that's ridiculous. That's and he's your biggest fucking. He's bringing in YouTube. customers. Yeah, he's bring, you know what I mean. He's I, I, marketing I know. your game. You, I really, you know, I really you know what that. I do like about some YouTubers. It's just oh. I'm not gonna say names though. That they complain because somebody's trying to give feedback to Forza, okay, about something like they want to see in the game, and the bitch tells him like, no, don't don't say this. Like, how are you? How dare you say that? How are you going to give feedback? Holy shit! Oh like, my like, god, like, feedback. Bew, feedback. <laughs> <laughs> this is... <laughs> like, that's this not being an idiot at all. That's not being an idiot at all. CJ, wow. if you shoot that, I'm going to kick you from the call. It doesn't make sound. <laughs> I don't think you <laughs> understand how autistic that is. You look so it doesn't nice. make sound. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make sound. <laughs> um... Yeah, but like, no, no, okay, back to what I was saying. So, Need for Speed, I'm not saying it doesn't have its faults. Every game has its faults, and Need for yep. Speed's no different. In fact, yep. there's a lot of things off the top of my head which I would like to see in Need for Speed. I'm not saying that. It, like, the headlight glitch, for example, where the headlights come up out of the bumper. Have you seen that yet? Yeah. It's yeah. on, it's on yeah. the um, 180SX, uh, the Salati 180SX. The GTR. The GTR. A few there's, a, there's a kit where the exhaust, like, it only has a... Cutting from one exhaust, but another one cuts through the body. It's weird. Exactly. 
but they of they they are doing things to kind of counteract that. They're doing so many good things that you can kind of put that to the side. And that's where we're going to talk about the subreddit in a minute, is where people don't appreciate what Ghost have done. But now, what I'm saying is, Need for Speed, okay, it has its issues, but the amount of good things they've done to combat those issues, it kind of just out out outweighs it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Amy, stop that... calling me! What? <laughs> What the fuck? That was an autistic joke. That's you were having a serious so moment then, and then CJ but, come in with his autistic comment again. You, you know one <laughs> thing that I actually liked about Need for Speed 15 because I I haven't been able to play it because I don't have an Xbox to play it with EA Access, but I've been able to see some gameplays and shit like that. Like I like how the story because I'm a big story guy. I like how the story flows exactly with the game. Like you go to a diner and well. You, you have to go there, you have to drive there, then you get out of the diner and it feels awesome, like it flows perfectly. That's one thing I, that we haven't been able to see in the uh, Need for Speed game for uh, a couple of years. Yeah. Like, the one thing with Need for Speed, I think, I think it could be a bit more gritty. That's definitely something I feel like, I feel yeah. like um, having a bad guy in the story would be pretty cool. Um, yeah. But that's not the case. I do feel like, you know, the car list could be added to. I, I, I feel like, you know, some customization could be added to. I feel like we could have that bit more. But... Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> it's what is in there after, like, how long has it been? Some could argue 10 years yeah. it's been. Um, I could give two shits and a fuck that there's, you know, there's not even a lack of customization. That's just me being greedy, you know? And like they say, quality over quantity. Yeah, yeah. definitely. If the game is fun, it doesn't need a lot of things to... I know. Let's be, honest. That's even further. Let's be honest, if you've yeah. got a list of 400 cars... And you can make money very easily. You're going to get bored because you're going to buy <laughs> loads of cars and use them over and over and over again. And you're going to get to a point where you've got like 10 of the same cars and you just, you don't even go to upgrade the same car. You just buy a new one because you can't be asked to go in your garage and get it. And you buy cars is just there. So I'm just speaking. One thing that pisses me off is people yeah. who talk about the five car limit but haven't even played the game. Sorry. You can't really say that you don't like this because you haven't experienced it. It's like having a pizza, or no, no, it's like seeing a pizza and judging it before you've even taken a bite. Yeah, you, know, you can't yeah. like you can't <laughs> form a, a proper a proper opinion unless you've actually tried them, played the game, and gone through it. Otherwise, you're basically reviewing a pizza without eating it. You're reviewing a CD without listening to it. It just doesn't. Make you're basically sense. IGN. They're kind of. It's like your eyes are bigger than their stomachs. Like, you're seeing a bunch of cars and saying, damn, I want them all, but it's going to take you a while till you actually fill up your garage. Like, how, so. many, how many cars has everyone got here? So I have, I have I only have three. One. I have three. I have two at the moment. So nine, and they're all low-end cars. CJ. I, I have one, but I'm, I want to save up for some cars because video purposes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 of course. And CJ has three. I have two. I have a Supra and a R32, R32. and I've got an M3 GTR coming on day one because I've got the deluxe edition, so. Yeah, boy. Ten yeah, boy. I, I can't wait hey. to use that. I really can't wait to use that. But, um, so yeah, we've got those cars coming. you got to keep in mind that I grind my ass for those cars, and my <laughs> Supra is hardly upgraded. Um, I'm still unlocking all the parts. They're really low-end parts. And the thing is, people don't really understand, is if you want those high-end cars, you're going to have to grind... You're really gonna have to grind, and it's not the crew level grinding, it's not GTA level grinding, but it's Need for Speed grinding, yeah. old Need for Speed grinding, and that's kind yeah, of uh, it's like something like that we've seen in Need for Speed Underground too. We had a limit of cars in the in the career mode, and like the cars were free in that case. I think they were three free, right? I don't remember. I think it was like if if you got if you free car, a free car lot, lot. Yeah. yeah, I think if you had a free car lot that that you could just get a car. Uh, but it worked because you selected cars and you didn't need to get another one. It was just, it was your car, you customized it to be your own, and it just felt yours. That's the same thing with Most Wanted and like uh, Carbon yeah. and all those other games. Did, okay, so like, I'm imagining you guys went through the career mode with maybe two cars, max three maybe. I, in, yeah. in Carbon I used like yeah, five. Yeah, three max. I yeah, remember, in Carbon I, I used like five. I remember. No, no, but that's, that, you don't you don't really need that many cars. Like I went through my carbon let's play with starting off with the Arc Eight that I went I upgraded to the Arc Seven and I finished off with the Skyline. I only had three no, cars. So see here, I'm not, I'm not talking about boss cars here. 
I'm not talking about. Yeah, I'm not talking about them. I, I bought like six cards. Yeah, but did you, how many just... do you use? How many do you use? I actually used all five of them. But um, it wasn't until the last event of the game where I had to defeat ba Darius where I realized that my Gallardo w was shit at turning for some reason. Yeah. So I got a Lancer and finished it off. And finished him off with that. See, because I never really played. When I was playing through Underground, all those games. I never really have any more than, say, three cars if you don't count the blacklist yes, cars like most wanted. I yeah, remember yeah. when I got my, um, him most wanted, I, um, I used the Colbert for ages. Um, yeah. That's, that's, oh, the Colbert? Yeah. Yeah, and then I, I think I grinded with that for ages, and I think I got a Golf after, and then I, I, I can only remember these three cars, and then I remember using my Corvette for most of the game. I think I completed the game with the Corvette. I, I remember getting. Is big that possible? Supra. Or am I yeah, talking about yeah, yeah, Big Supra. It was Dude, like. Big uh, Supra's OP. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I remember when we were doing the um, the race to finish Most Wanted. Yeah. You oh, yeah. Big Supra, and I was mad AF because that <laughs> thing is so OP. And you could finish the game easily with Vic Supra, no grays or nothing. You could just finish that. Yeah. Um, and that's what I loved about those games. Like, you didn't need to. You don't need 100 need cars in your car. garage. Like, yeah. of course, yeah. Horizon, you can have as many cars as you want, but those cars have no worth. Like, say if you have to discard your car because you lose against your friend, it's a bet or whatnot. That's gonna You're not going to be affected in Forza. It's you really going to really hurt. It's, it's not really going to hurt, isn't it, Cam? Yeah. Yeah, especially when you lose, but that's besides uh, all, all me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, pants. Like, if, 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 okay, so say you lose your car for whatever reason in Nice 2015, that's going to hurt. Like a lot. <laughs> yeah. you, you, you're gonna be discarding that car, and you're gonna think my life's over. I don't know. To to be fair, with Need for Speed 15 having so many tuners, I don't really know how I'm going to do to get all the cars that I want. Like the car list, in my opinion, it's so good that I really want to get the Supra. I want to get the Evo. I want to. And then people the are at the same time that it's not big enough. <laughs> it's like you really I mean, can't please people. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I understand, but if it's really difficult to grind, you will get like a personal attachment to the car that you first start with, and then to the one that you probably will buy in the future. So it's like you get attached to the car. That is one thing that we haven't seen also in a while. So I, I yeah. understand why people are moaning because I don't see Forza Horizon doing this shit. I don't see. Uh, I haven't seen Need for Speed Rivals doing this, like, it didn't happen, you didn't get attached to your car, in Need for Speed Car Pursuit, so, it, like, generalizing, in more than five or six years, we didn't get attached to our cars. Yeah. I'm gonna say straight yeah. up, this is probably gonna be the best game in the last decade. Yeah. yeah. I agree. For me, mm -hmm. for me. Now, obviously, other people might like other games. You know, maybe if Carbon's your favorite game, maybe, maybe not. Well... That's fair Technic enough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, that's fair yeah. enough. But for me, honestly, like I could, off the top of my head, games, not even racing them, just games generally. The only games that come close maybe Burnout, Paradise, uh, Halo 3. Underground 2 for you. Underground 1 for me. Last 10 years, you but it's last decade. Uh, I... <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no, Hot Pursuit like, 2010 for me. Those least. are the only games I can think of that even come close. Pursuit like, well, 20 maybe, yeah. but even then, like, this is mad. <laughs> like, yeah. this is insane. And I don't know, I'm just thankful we're getting what we want. And I think a few people need to be a bit more appreciative. And we're going to talk about subreddit hate in a minute. Um, but before we go on to that, we should talk about future content updates and things we want to see in NFS in the future. Because right. there's a lot of things that can be added. I we? think we all yeah. know what we're all going to agree on. Pink slips. No. That was, that was one of them. <laughs> Yeah. RX8. Okay. Uh, uh, RX8 pink, yeah. I, I, I want to explain pink slips. I want to see what happens. So, yeah. pink slips. This is how I want it to work. Online pink slips. You get maybe one a day so people don't go ham and lose all their cars. <laughs> I think that's fair enough. If you go and just go pink slip after pink slip after pink slip, you're going to get fucked, basically. So, I'm saying max one a day. Max one pink slip a day. That gives you a day to grieve over the car you've lost to. <laughs> so, um, pink slips, one a day. It has to be on the same level, like... Um, like money wise unless you're doing it with friends then you can do whatever you want that's fair sounds enough. good that yeah. kind of balances it out sure, good. and then um, you know it's a voting system to pick on the race you use and winner takes the car yeah 
what what I, th- I was thinking though, I think I made a video about being sleep before we even know knew about yeah. difference between two fifteen. I think but, a lot of us did. Uh, yeah. My my method was just have like the same strike system that you had in most wanted. Like you don't completely lose your car, but you get one strike every single time you lose a pink slip. And if you get three strikes, mm-hmm. well the car is gone. I mean, but you still like the the guy that beats you still gets the car. You get the warning, and it's a little bit more challenging. Maybe it's more two. like I think three is a bit too generous. Yeah, maybe two. Yeah, yeah. it could yeah, be too generous. What yeah. if you get like say a pink slip strike with one guy, and then you race another guy with for pink slips, and you get another one? Like who would get yeah, the car I feel like then? That would be a bit weird because if two yeah. guys you the same car, I don't feel it'd be a bit weird because not really pink slips then. It's more just. I yeah. mean, it's the same concept, but people wouldn't suffer, and maybe five-year-old kids wouldn't cry over the car. I like games being hard. Am I the only one that feels? Like I like. Yeah, but games yeah. need to be hard nowadays. Yeah, like, yeah. You need yeah, to be punished. If you lose, you've lost. You lost your car. I'm, go. <laughs> I mean, the first game that is gonna have, like the first game that actually implements pink slips in this, I don't know, in this few years to come, or maybe now, is gonna be really successful. I don't think that we had a, a game that is that actually. Brings the challenge of pink slips. Like, I don't it's think like pink slips itself is going to make obviously the game pop, but it's definitely going to be one of the best features it's a big of that challenge. game. Probably going to be it's GTA big... Online. Probably going to be GTA Online. Whether it probably will as well. Yeah. yeah I could will. see GTA Online doing something like that. Yeah. To be honest, I'm not going to lie. But it, yeah, it's a really good idea. Anyway, really I've is. got more ideas, but I'll let us go around the table. So, has anyone got any, any more? Ideas for me. I got one. Go on, go on, Nia. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go on, no, no. <laughs> well, oh, God. The one that I was going to say that we would all agree on would be a map expansion. Yep. Yeah, yes! yes. Yeah. So people start complaining. Yes. And yeah, like just... we explained last week, um, it would be really cool to see, like, different parts of the map. So, for example, you could drag race at the airport. Oh. You know, you could... You could you know, find some new places to explore in, like, the northern part of the map where there might be, you know, a new district of the city. In the inside area of Royal Park? Yeah, yeah I, I don't the, know the why downtown. That, that downtown part isn't Can available. I plus one to what you just said about the airport? Yeah. Yes. I, be, just because they've had it in previous games, so we saw it in Underground 2, I can yeah, but, I can yeah. really see that happening because it's I think it's kind of weird just because recent games have airports as well I, I I can see them adding that as like you know free DLC at some point I can yeah I would pay, and, for, and then, I would pay for a map expansion I would pay for I'll pay for anything for that I game. would happily pay shit. for anything to buy Ghost Games <laughs> I, I think that the, the, there's going to be a map expansion I think that the downtown area instead of just being a yeah it is a freaking texture just it's the it's the yeah. texture. But I think that he's teasing you for a map expansion. I think that the downtown area is definitely going to be a map expansion. I think they've like, left my, my... it just for kind of like, if they ever want to do it, it it's an option. But it's not yeah. like planned. It's not like they've planned to do it. It's not like they started working on it. It's just there. Of course. Just but... to be there. Like. Yeah. But I think that if they are going to make a map expansion, it could be perfectly also an airport. Uh, but they definitely going to make it the downtown area. Ooh. Like, I see it. Oh, you go just CJ. Thanks. Thank you. An idea that they could do is make maybe add a wooded area or a maybe desert area with a lot of long roads and stuff where people can take their supercars and stuff out. I mean, if they like, that, that or they can test the speed. Of course, the exotic test. fanboy would have to come up with this. <laughs> it's a good idea. <laughs> I'm just hot pursuit. Hot it's pursuit nice was a good idea. game. Hot pursuit had them. <laughs> it's a good idea, but I couldn't see a um like a desert. you know how you know how L.A. above the mountain around on the other side of the mountains is just desert and stuff. Niner can confirm because he's from California. It's just deserts and stuff. Yeah, that wouldn't make more sense because think of the map right now. The map it like has lots of empty space in the top left, and it's always wet. Yeah. Why would they? Uh, in the bottom I right? couldn't. I just couldn't see it. I I, I like the car idea. Wet in the desert. I, I couldn't. A see car it. wet in the desert it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Bottom bottom right. No, the desert of LA is northwest. That's not what I'm saying. On the map of Need for uh. Speed, at the top left, there's loads of free space. Um, potential space to be used for something. That's what yeah. They they can put like not maybe not maybe a desert area, but a rural area with a bunch of like long sweeping roads and um, I could see like you know, straight like, roads. Like, so do you know like hot pursuit? Yeah, north. You already have that in the northern mountains. So no, 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 no. What I meant by long those sweeping, those are rivals I mean, like roads. Yeah, rivals yeah. like roads. That's what I that's meant. What I in, 
in, I don't think like, that doesn't make sense because it's all about being a, an illegal street race and an illegal street race. But you still yeah. have the, the highways to go really fast. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. So you also have supercars and stuff, which you I can think at this point, we're just, we're just like, this is just... It doesn't mean anything. We're fucking happy with the game. Yeah. It's just, and also... Um, is, these just look <laughs> like ideas for updates. Like, yeah. Really One more thing. <laughs> One more thing. They could add a racetrack into the game. No. Could do that. No, that, that <laughs> actually no, is a good idea. It's just that it would work. Um, I don't think it would. It would. It, would. it could. Like, it worked in Underground too. They had that freaking URL race. It would work. It, it wasn't part of the map. World. It wasn't in the exterior. I, yeah, but I it was still part of the right. game. It was still part of the uh, underground scene and stuff. Yeah, but, so. but uh, see, I that's what I mean. It's just like with Underground too. Like, the airport was not accessible. It wasn't finished because I, if you glitch out of the map, the, the airport is not finished at all. And then we have the URL maps, which, well, it's just there. To they're be there. Added, yeah, they're added like yeah. there, just, just there. It, what, what's the point of not having it on free room? Like, I, I would like, like the map to needs to do is expand on what it already has. You're I telling me it out. wouldn't work, but let's be honest. It they would. go in. They go into you know diners and drink coffee, like yeah, street but races. Magic, street races. Yeah, I, yeah but that's I, just because they can't drink beer. Because otherwise, the thing would go. Up, the peggy rating would go up. Exactly. Right. I don't know. I, I, I could. I could definitely see a mini little racetrack. For you to go and test your car out, see, do well, dyno well, tests don't... and stuff, I could totally see something like that happening. I, I can't see Not that happening, happening but I could, because... see, I could see it as a thing. Yeah. I can't see that happening mainly because, well, in Underground 2, um, the racetrack was just like a, an area just full of roads. But when you went into an actual event, it would, um, it would cut off those roads, so you know, it's a racetrack. So I wouldn't really find the purpose for that in Free Roam. Because, I don't know, it, barriers it, in free roam. Yeah, but, if yeah, but then how would that work? If you saw, uh, if you're in free roam, if you're to go into a race at the racetrack and there's someone already there in free roam, you just see him going through the barriers. What do you mean? Then again, yeah, because how the races stop. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know, I know what you mean. I mean, I, I, like, that's just what I don't think it would work. Personally. What do you mean, how would the races start? So when you press RB or R1, you yeah. start rolling where the uh, like the line is, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So if it was a racetrack, how would that work? Would you drive onto the racetrack? No, you'd be already be on the racetrack, but you'd be driving like behind up to the starting line. Why are you rolling your eyes for? I don't think it would work. Yeah, <laughs> I, no, listen. Yeah. It would work. Real life, urban... Racetracks are all over the freaking world. They're, they're, they're things. They are things. They're, just, they're not always sports. People go to racetracks, normal people, for track I'm days. I'm, I'm not even saying it's going to happen. It's just that I think that CJ's idea is a wrong, good I'm idea. I'm not saying I don't agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I do think would fit very, very big in this game is a vinyl marketplace. Oh, it definitely, yes. yeah. Yeah. Like Forza has. I think if they just ripped that straight from Forza, that would be fine. <laughs> um, I think yeah. a Midnight Club one would be better than Forza. A Rate My Ride sort of thing. Yeah. Um, that was sick, Rate My Ride. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. Or like somewhere where you can buy tunes. Yeah. Or bu yeah. Bu buying tunes and like buying certain setups and that kind of stuff. It's all possible. It's all that, possible. That would be great for the community to tell. They could, like, they could make a little, you know, a little garage that you drive into called the tuning shop. You know, tuning, you know, put, roll in there, got a new character there. Hey. You know, you wanna you wanna check out the best rides, the best tunings you can get in here. All you have to do is beat Nakai, son. And then, again, and then, no, okay. So like, I've got a question. <laughs> so, do you think a story expansion would be good? Definitely. Obviously, we yeah. has anyone completed the story? I haven't. Like, I have. I've only made one thread, like at the EA event I went to. But besides that, I haven't found play through anything. I think I'm at the end of the build one, and that's about it. If it, if it were to be a, a story expansion, I would like a, a cliche enemy that we've seen yeah. in yeah. the previous different That's days. exactly what I was thinking. I, I think that the, the thing that this storyline needs a little bit more is, like a, like you said, like a big enemy. Because like, like, yeah. it's much more redeeming to be an enemy than be a friend of someone. Like, if, even if it was for, like, if the story DLC was just for, like, I don't know, 10 minutes. If I had the chance to beat Racer once again in this game, it would change this game like it would i would just give it to god you know i would just lift up and I go to i personally want that just for the basic reason yeah. it feels like it's black boxes legacy and ghost yeah i know 
I understand. Yeah. That's why they did Nice 2015, I feel like, is because it's cementing their own legacy. They could have done Underground 3, but that was. But like, at the same time, they're using, they're using vinyls from, from older games. The, the yeah, I, I like that, though. That's but amazing. That, yeah, that's just like. That's just fan. fan that's play, that's kind of low key paying homage to the old yeah, games, I guess. Like yeah. yeah. It's such good fan service. That's what I meant to say. Fan service. Maybe if it's not a black box thing, maybe we could actually see Zephyr's face or something oh, like that. Oh no, Zephyr needs to no. just die. <laughs> Zephyr let's needs pretend to that the events of Need for Speed Rivals just never took place. Yeah, let's just pretend. Yeah, yeah, just to be that. honest, I don't even know what the fuck happened in Need for Speed Rivals. That shit I, I just have no idea. Fact. Also, I have no idea. Uh, I think so. <laughs> some people think that that. Rival story was actually good. In my okay, ne next subject. Let's not get um, the ghost devs angry. No, no ghosts. I love you. They, I love you. They know. <laughs> 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 no, I mean they obviously listen to the Craig yeah. thing somewhat, so they, they they've got to know that not yeah. many people like that game. I mean, it's my opinion. It's like that's just how it is. I don't really like rivals, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys agree as well. So, at the beginning it was at the beginning it was really entertaining. Then it was just so repetitive. I used it was to... entertaining for the first few months, definitely. Yeah. I don't know how I could fanboy that game though, because I fanboyed that game up a lot. A Back lot. Because Hot Pursuit is a great so, game. I don't get what you. Well, Hot Pursuit is a great game. game. I don't get what you point. I don't get where you were gonna go with that. It's just I me neither. Yeah, look, and then you were gonna be silent and not continue your point. <laughs> anyway, I've got I've got a continuation on um the content updates. So. We've talked about stuff that we would like other than car expansions. Let's talk about car expansions. What cars do you want to say? So RX8. RX8. Okay, so RX8, no, yes, no, no yes. High five, RX8 Jay. Again. RX8, yes, you babe. You can't say yeah. RX8 again. It's yes. already been said. It's already been said. You've got to say a different car each time. So, CJ. <laughs> DC2. Speedway. R33. J. Mazda Speed 3. Really? Yes. Oh, really? <laughs> I, I honestly wasn't expecting that. <laughs> the new Mazda Speed 3, that would look dank. Um, mine would be the E36. So that's the only M3 that's not in the game. Yeah. And honestly, there'd probably be a car out there, which I prefer over that, like the 350Z, <laughs> which has just come to mind. Oh yeah, shit. <laughs> um, oh wow. And, and, and with the 350Z, Whoa. they could add Rachel, Rachel's vinyl to it. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, I'd love to see more hero vinyls in the game, like an East Siders vinyl. <laughs> oh my god! I don't know, no yeah, boy. Even one of the most that. wanted blacklist. I know. Yeah, you could have like Sunny's yeah. thing in there. All that. Imagine if they bought out like a DLC pack called like Blacklist, and they bought out every single. Or like blacklist most wanted, or something like that. <gasps> Jesus <Yeah>. Christ! <laughs> yeah, what is that? I'm so excited. Now, you've got to keep in mind, again, as we're watching this, I want to remind everyone that we're grateful for what we have at the moment. These are just our oh, yeah. ideas and what we think yeah. could make the game better in the future. This yeah. isn't hate. This isn't like, oh, this needs to be in the game. This is just our opinions on what could make the game better because there's always improving points. There's always things that we would like to see as fans, but no means are, are we... Yeah, like, yeah, we're fans. We're fans. Just like you guys watching, we're fans. We're not no one special. It's just... These are just wild imaginations. Like, literally. <laughs> some, of, some, of, some of them make sense, and some of them don't. Like CJ's um, <laughs> desert thing and rage crash. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's, all, it's all down for interpretation. If you don't agree with it, that's fine. But yeah. this is just what we think. I, I think we've come up with some good ideas in this that Ghost could legit yeah. listen to. Um, Maybe not yeah, high now. High five, guys. High five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Fist bump. Fist bump. Fist bump. Oh, yeah, fist bump. <laughs> yeah, I'm fist bumping right now, but, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're gonna go on to the darker subject of dun, dun, dun. the big mist we have here, and that's the Need for Speed subreddit. Now I want to lead this one because I've got something interesting to say. Yeah. I have seen a lot of toxic comment sections. I've seen a lot of to to toxic uh, subreddits, websites generally, but hands down, recently the Need for Speed subreddit has been so ungrateful for everything Ghost have done. Now. They've been going as far to call the developers lazy. They've gone as far to saying that um, this is going to be the last Need for Speed. They've said things like the the game's broken and all this kind of stuff. If you are saying that kind of stuff, and I don't care if you get offended, you are deluded and stupid. That fuck boys. Yeah, fuck boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't appreciate what goes to the <laughs> no debt. Another. We put the hinges on another one. The hinges. <laughs> No, like seriously though, you are so ungrateful. 
if you think that Ghost haven't listened and this is a basically a Rivals 2, you fucking mad. No. <laughs> this. Are you dizzy, blood? Are you dizzy, blood? <laughs> no, are you lean? Are you lean? Are like, you lean? This Games. is the game we've all been asking for, and the subreddit is so ridiculously just ungrateful. Now, I'm not saying it's everyone. I'm not saying the whole subreddit is toxic. What I'm saying is a large majority of it is. And if you go on there, you'll see that a lot of it is just da 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 da. And for some of the comments that you know offer feedback, they say it in such a fucking rude way. If someone says that in my comment section, you're getting fucking deleted. Know that. <laughs> hey, up, like, I'm, I'm honestly surprised with how Ben Walk is coping with that. If he's he tweeted, on about, the he tweeted stuff. about it. He said, um, how dare you call a, a, um, develop, any developer lazy. That's what he said on his Twitter account. And I yeah. was thinking, this, like, okay, yeah, obviously, community manager, you're going to get that quite a lot because that's kind of the job is to deal with everyone in the community. But come on, man. Like, and yeah, like it's Helios, not okay. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call you out right here, Helios. I tweeted you six fucking tweets of advice, not a favorite, not a fucking mention, not a retweet, nothing, not even a follow or a message back. That's fucking disgusting. I don't give a shit who you are. If I send you six tweets, you best reply back because I'm a fan and I'm giving you advice to make your product better. If someone sends me six tweets, heck, someone sent me an email before this. A, a fan sent me an email. I'm going to reply to that shit straight after because it's quite frankly rude not to. The fact that the Forza community manager doesn't listen to an innocent fan who's giving you advice is a fucking joke. Um, and the fact Ben Walk has literally been going head to toe, replying to the rules. Not even just Ben Walk, you know, James. Um, that this this is Metro. I can't remember what his actual name is. Hendrick or something across those. Uh, it's it's uh, so, Jonas Peterson. Him. That's his know, name, I think. They've, they've all been going in. You know, there's a big big line of people from Ghost who've been talking, and you know, that, just give them a break. You know, just just. People... A... Can I just say something? Just a big factor that you could just even favorite one tweet. Like, at least tell me that you've read it. I'm just saying, I'm annoyed. Yeah, acknowledge it. I'm the fact, I'm yeah. annoyed about the fact that I got fucking straight up ignored. Now, fair enough, you might have not seen it. You might not. But the, the amount of replies I got off that, that kind of mini yeah. thing <laughs> that yeah. he had with him in, yeah. he, he would have seen that. Like, yeah, 100% would have seen that. Can it's I a add fucking on? Joke. Can I add on? Go for it. Yep. All right. Um, I, don't, I doubt they'll be watching this, okay, because it's so far up their own ass. Um, there's the individuals who preferably are on the Microsoft side, you know, Forza, AR Tools writer, you know, <laughs> Tom, <laughs> Tom, <laughs> got, got, got to Tom, Wait, um, and, and another, another guy. The other day, I got mentioned by three, three quite big known people in this community, I, th I believe. I don't know about the other two. They seem to be some writers for some shits that I don't care about. But um, they came at me basically because I, was, I wasn't I was happy with the way Forza is. I think I've, I've said shit about it. Um, and they, they basically said to me, who am I? Like, I don't have a voice. Let me just put this out there. I don't think I'm anyone, okay? I don't do this YouTube thing to try and make myself feel big or look big. If I give an opinion on something, it's genuinely because I want it to change. I like Forza a lot, okay, but the last couple of games have been absolute horse shite. And if you don't think that, then you really need to reevaluate your life because you are an idiot. You're brain dead. You are blinded. You need to be cured, okay? No, the community, the, the, the people, the people fun. you're <laughs> licking asses with or whatever, they, they don't care about you. These people don't care. The developers don't yeah. care. They don't show any appreciation for you or the money you're spending on their products or the time you're spending on their products. So please do not try and come at me for giving advice or whatever, if you don't want to call it advice, uh, just a friendly fan, you know, just d don't, don't, don't. I, because and, and I've got I don't. something to add to this as well. Like, I don't understand. Okay, I'm a Forza fan too. And I was a huge fan of Forza 4, Horizon 1, Horizon 2 even at a certain point. I was fucking hyped for that game. I call that game the best thing we've had in ages and it was shit. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, and like, okay, I, I'm a Forza fan. Look what you've done to me. I, I, I bought an Xbox One just for Forza. And Same. I'm, I'm, not I'm not ashamed to admit that. I bought it for Forza and Halo. And... I am just so disappointed about the fact that 
Forts has gone the way it is. I've not made one Forts 6 video. I mentioned so many times. Because the game is utter shit. I'm not going to promote dog shit on my channel. Not for views. Not because... And you know, e even if you want me to make a Fort Six video, I don't. I'm not going to make something I don't enjoy playing and that I don't want to support. That's just simply simple as it is. If you're going to make videos, you should. It should be stuff on, that you enjoy and that you'd watch. If you don't watch Fort Six videos, you shouldn't make Fort Six videos. And that's just how I see things on YouTube. Now, with Forza and how the way it's going. Okay, Helos ignore me. Okay, that's fine. Well, it's not fine. It's fucking stupid. But <coughs> I can get past that. You know, you're a dickhead. Okay, that's fine. But. The fact that it's not even just him, it's the Forza Motorsport, they all have the same ethos that's not make a game for the fans, make a game for themselves. And yeah. I'm not here to, you know, get an invite to some next level Forza Horizon 3 event, I could give a shit. Um, you know, even if this was Need for Speed, I'd say the exact same thing. It was Need for Speed last year with Rivals, and I said the exact same thing. I said, the yeah. game was shit, the game needs help, and Ghost listened, and that's why I preach. After we all bashed them here... <sighs> Yeah, my Jay, Jay was. Um, no, 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 no! I bashed. Was, I bashed. She's still like, an embryo. Pre, pre she's YouTube life, I was disappointed with. with I didn't even buy it. So yeah. we all bashed rivals, yeah. And you know, I've I, like I got to the extent to get invited. You, we, but, uh, CJ and Speedway have got events in the game, and then Jay and Richard, they ain't getting blocked by the devs. <laughs> so there's something right here. There's something very, very right here yeah. with Ghost. And like then just Forza, like. What the fuck are you doing? And it's it's we go about this every single week because it's so fucking true. It's Need for Speed doing all these right things and Forza's going in the same direction Need for Speed does, and it's just it's annoying. That's yeah, it. but you know, you know yeah. what? One one thing that really pisses me off that this guy told Jay that who are you? Like that's a really arrogant question. Even like I'm pretty sure that if Jay had like a lot of Need for Speed content. Or I don't know he know and you like he would get acknowledged by the developers also. So it's it's not like who are you? You you just don't say that to anyone, okay? You're mm. an arrogant piece of shit, okay? You <laughs> fucking twat, okay? So you know <laughs> I, I, basically, <laughs> I, I basically kind <laughs> of said bro, <laughs> yes sir. <laughs> okay, just it's just he's an idiot. What do you want me to say? Like yeah, I just I I can he's a typical just rich boy. That gives about uh, doesn't gives a shit about anyone, okay? And Jay's a cool person. He didn't, he doesn't even take like I I'm pretty sure he wouldn't even take a slight second to get to know us all, even if, if well, he. Harry, I don't no, even think they meant it. I just think they think they're so cool and so higher up that they can say yeah. that like it's a joke. One of the people, I, like even then, if I'm a Forza fan and say for example I never did YouTube. I still have an equal amount of say, of uh, you know, I still have an equal um, opinion to yep. that of, you know, maybe AR-12. I still have an equal opinion. Now, and I agree with that 100%. But the thing is with these people is their voice is louder just because they shout more. Now, yeah. obviously, yeah. people have a bigger say in certain things because of the position they have in the community. And that's never going to change. That's always how it's been. That's that's why celebrities are celebrities, right? Yeah. yeah. But that doesn't make your opinion any less valid. Yeah. That's you can't you can't ridicule yeah. someone else's opinion just because you're higher up than them. That's just exactly. Stupid. And, and you know what was actually better than I found like when the, all of this was happening, like the actually people that got on our side and actually seeing this guy getting no one at only let's say he got one or two favorites on those tweets. Okay, and then people on our side just bashing this dude and telling him why he was wrong, like from every single one of our Twitter accounts. That actually made me proud because I know that there are people in YouTube right here, right now, that stand up for us. Ten, and I don't think ten small people outweigh one big person. Yes, yeah. and definitely. That's, that's how it is. Like, and that's always how it's been. That's why, like, you see revolutions and shit happen all, like, all the fucking time. Like, yeah. that's why there's always revolts. Ten. Big pe ten, 10 small people will never outweigh, you know, one big person. Like, it's always, it's, a lot of people with smaller voices have one big voice. That's why yeah, something like this podcast here is when all of us are together uploading it on, say, four different channels, that has a big outburst because it's four different channels. Like, we get how many views? 500 views on all of our channels each week? Probably, like, like combined because you yeah. get, like, 300. I get probably 50, 60. And, and the same with Speedway and, and CJ. I should get around a hundred-ish, ish around. It really, it's really inconsistent with me, but 
Yeah. Yeah, so thank it, you. Yeah. It's really I mean, good. that's that's just my thing opinion on things. And again, going back to on subject here, <laughs> you know, with I mean, Forza. For first, I was I. Speak, Why do you have lotion you? in your hand? <laughs> oh god! Oh, 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 this is turning into a Halloween special. Oh, <laughs> no, I was like, so when Speedway was going in on that developer, some who he was like attacking him and like going on, like going in on, I ran to the bathroom to get some lotion to make a joke about how he was going in dry. But you guys went on to a different subject like really oh fast. I didn't have time CJ. to make the joke. What so. So you this just completely you ruined this, the fucking topic. Okay, no, let's, can't, let's, let's keep this rolling. Let's just ignore the autistic kid. Let's keep it rolling. <laughs> okay, let's keep it rolling because DJ Kemmett in the house, you know where you're going to get it straight because I came out from the hood. So, um, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, the, the developer, okay, don't listen. Forza, don't listen. That's fine. They're going to die soon. And uh, I don't even care. I don't even care. I'm a Forza fan. Uh, and a few people fail to see that for some reason. And that's fine. Um, but... I'm an example of many people who have played Forza, except I kind of stick more to my values than a lot of the other people. A lot of these people say that, oh, don't do this, don't do that. If I don't like something, I ain't going to support it. And yeah. I, again, I'm one example of many people. That's why your sales are going down, 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 down. It's because something, someone in my situation, Richard, again, you're in the exact same situation I am, correct? Yep. Bought an Xbox just for Forza. Not happy with the product. Not happy yep. with what they're doing at all. I was so. about to do the same thing. What, what are you fucking doing, Microsoft 1010? <laughs> you need to short your shit out. Anyway, uh, should we go on to the subreddit hate? Need yes. To yes. Hate because yep. woo, 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 this is going to turn into I a actually have, real like, quick. The, <laughs> I actually have the perfect example of one of the shit posts that go on. I linked it. Alright, so read, so read, 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 I got to let it out about to converse. Why, when looking at the previous Need for Speed games and to rivals, does this latest game from 2015 lack so much fucking why exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark? Uh, is it incompetence from the developers? Something is majorly flawed ideas like added things from examples, e EMP. Okay, this, this, this has got no grammar in at all. I'm literally saying this how it's wrote. Example, yeah. EMP. <laughs> Electrostatic field stopping cars. Where is radar meter to know where cops are hiding? Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Man, I really am thinking of canning this pre-order. I am sorry, A. I feel it isn't worth it yet. Yeah. Uh, now, you know, my, my English is not as great. That's as CJ when he's talking in Skype calls. But that's so <laughs> funny. Now, that's, that's on the extreme end of the scale of the Read the way. comments. Um, there's no point in that kind of proves what we're saying. So yeah. now that proves that like that's obviously on the on the high end of the autism scale for the <laughs> for the subreddit. There's obviously things which make sense on the subreddit. There's uh, there was one obviously cool map expansion we showed off last week on the podcast, and that was sick. But yeah, anyway, it was great. Let me read you one of the comments. No, because we've oh already got God. the same point. No, 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 no. You're gonna trust. Trust me. This is going to be an autistic point. I'm just going to... I don't like to voice foul language. Self-control level is low. Unfortunately, at the moment right now, I am playing Need for Speed Rivals. Ghost Game, in my opinion, did a fantastic job on it. And I can't help to think why some ideas have been left out. To make me... To, to me, it makes sense seeing cops zap straight racers with that bright blue <laughs> lighting effect. CJ. Bring your gut night. All this engine they use reflects light. I won't get started on the neon. I made a post on that already. Would love to see that added sometime in the future. <laughs> what the hell? Never trust CJ again. Yeah, just go Yeah, never Cam. trust CJ again. No, I, 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 I'm just going to ignore all of your input <laughs> now. <laughs> like, that was the most autistic comment. It had no relation to anything we would say, but you still wanted to read that. You're almost as autistic as the guy who left the comment. <laughs> but anyway... Um, yes, obviously that's one one side of the spectrum. Now, again, we're not saying that things on the subreddit are all aids because they're not all aids. A, a lot of it does make sense. Like obviously the map expansion stuff we showed, we showed the car DLC stuff we showed, the glitches that are in the game, like the two forty SX glitch uh, with the headlights. Yeah. But a large majority, of what's what's on there is bringing down the the developers for no reason 
And me personally, I'm really disappointed from a community standpoint. Uh, from yeah. someone who makes content and wants to promote this game because it's really good. I'm disappointed people don't see that. And some people are just incompetent to the point where they're calling developers lazy and all that kind of stuff. I feel really disappointed in parts of the community. You, you know what really I would say scared. when they call the community developers lazy? They delayed the PC to make the PC version to make it better for you, <laughs> bitch. Yeah, that's right. Like, <laughs> like I, what the? And it's not just people here. Like, we, I, we're all fans of the game. Like, that's what we are. We we want to support it. And obviously, the game has its flaws. But the fact people are moaning when the game is what it is. And the fact, you know, people are already complaining about the game before it even comes out, before people even played it. It really makes me disappointed as a content creator of, you know, majority need the speed games, racing games in general, let's to be honest, because I mean I made I made Forza videos for the whole last year and I really enjoy that shit. I've made the crew as well. So as as a racing game content creator, I'm kinda of disappointed by a lot of the people in the community who oversee what Ghost have really done. Just because yeah. they don't have their f favorite car in the game, just because they don't have maybe enough body kit options, you know. Yeah, maybe they're too they're too um lazy to learn how to actually handle their car. Yeah. Because that's one of the main complaints. Is like, I'm not handling this shit. Mm. Handling Dude, it, you, you just need to use the tuning right. <laughs> yeah, you got to get yeah. used to it. That's why they have that sliding option, so you can choose it to your to make it to your liking. And now you know, I'm, again, I'm not saying. Oh, sorry, Speed, where you go? No, but for the first time, they actually, they are making a game for everyone. They're clearly the drifting kind of style that some people like, and the gripper kind of style, and then what you can actually do. So they took everything into consideration, and yet people are still complaining. You know, I was complaining which, about the handling uh, which before. Which leads back up to earlier. Which leads back up to earlier. Ghost Games made the game for everyone. And they're yeah, just being ungrateful. People still find things to complain about when they made... Oh, but that happens with everything. Everything... Uh, is is supplied with something to complain about. Yeah. yeah. No matter what it is, people are going to find a way to complain about it. But it's the, it's the mass it's happened with Need for Speed, which, which, which just really lets me down. Like, I don't know. I just feel like a lot of the community, they're just, yeah, they're ungrateful. That's the only way to say it. Yeah. Like, I just, I feel really, just really disappointed. Like, I care about this community, as all, all of us do. We're, we're all part of this community as much as the viewer, the person who's watching this right now is, you know? Like, we're all here, and, you know, mindlessly hating on a game with no real point, it, it lets me down because it's our community, like, it, like obviously, okay, they might not be on my video, but one day they may be, like, one day they may run into any of us, and it's, it's, it's our community, you know, Need for Speed, Forza, the whole racing thing, when people can moan about this and don't support a, a specific point, which really needs to be supported, for example, Forza and the way that's going, for example, Need for Speed, you know, obviously it has things that it needs to be improved on. People aren't pushing that. Instead, they're pushing stuff like yeah. the engine, which isn't broken at all. I feel just generally disappointed by the, the way the community is going um, and, I mean, the, and the direction it's going in. It's a very hateful, negative way. And obviously, the internet's been like that since the dawn. Modern Warfare 2, I yeah, can remember I mean, people moaning about everything. Uh, as, you, as, you, as you said, we are also going to content creators and we understand. That's why when we make YouTube videos, we also... Um, Asked for constructive criticism, yeah. and that's the same thing with the developers. So they are getting constructive criticism, but this is not it. This is just complaining about a game that you haven't played. This is complaining about shit that it's not in the game because you wanted it, like yeah, peace, even though it make no, it makes no fucking if sense. If you have curse words used to offend the developers in your comments, then yeah, okay. If you have to curse words, okay, what, whatever the fuck, you can use curse words. They're no different to any other words. But if you have yeah. curse words offending the developers about their product, why the fuck should they listen to you? Yeah, I would I would straight up oh, wouldn't listen. If I was I a game developer, I would say, like... I delete comments that just straight up are rude. Because I don't want to fucking waste I ain't going to make time for that. Like, yeah. <laughs> fuck that shit. But I just feel like everyone's been... CJ won't, but, I mean, we will. CJ yeah. won't. Yeah, CJ, so, won't CJ will keep him in. Look, <laughs> look, that guy made fun of me. I'm going to go roast him. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that, that's how I, I just feel like... A lot of people just don't understand current constructive criticism and think that fuck you is constructive criticism when it is. It's really, really yeah. not. And that's just my opinion. And that's that doesn't just go for Need for Speed specifically. That goes for hate on the internet as a whole. Yeah. yeah. That's like having someone come out on your video 
Fuck you, make better videos. There's no Keeping constructive history. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn. It's true. Oh, the time, like, I'm, I'm not going to quote him, but I get comments all the time like that. <laughs> uh, I, I, I call it KP48 because I blocked him and he, if I, he reposted something, I actually... Speedway is a savage. Yeah, but that dude really pissed me off. Like, imagine if I was a developer and that guy was complaining, I would just straight up kill him. All right, so should we go on? You're going to get dry. Uh oh. So you're gonna loop up. You're going to become the Rock, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Yeah. Or no, you're gonna be like Shaq in that one one Gold Bond commercial. Oh no. God, he's actually <laughs> going in. This. All right, should we go on to the questions, guys? Yes. Oh, oh, shit, I should have done that. Now I can't move my mouse. <laughs> <laughs> So I've got around a few questions here, to be fair. Um, I had, I had one. Uh, so let's go ahead and answer one. So the first one I have seen is, what's your favorite pre 2000s racing game? Now I was born in 1998, so the first game I ever played was in 2002. So I, I can't really answer that properly. The only pre 2000s games I've really played, I don't know, like all the Need for Speed. Besides that, I can't think of many others. Crazy Taxi was a great game. Oh, Crazy, crazy Taxi! Oh yes, yeah. oh, high five, oh, yeah. up top. Yeah. Bang. I'm gonna say Crazy Taxi. Crazy Taxi was such a good yeah, game, I loved it. Besides that, I can't think of many pre 2000s. Anyone else? For me, it has to be Midtown Madness 1. That came out in 1999. Alright, so that's from Mealink. Thank you for the question this week, much appreciated. I have, uh, I, I have one on my channel. It should be a quick, easy one. Right, well, um, can you? This is from Benjamin Carsland. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. But question: Can you confirm that the cars can change exhaust note like in the Need for Speed Underground 2 after doing upgrades to the exhaust system? I need to know if there's an audible difference. Not the system, uh, but the exhaust the themselves. Yep. So if you put a carbon exhaust on, it's a much more hollow. However, if you put a big fat fart cannon on, it just makes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's yeah, like it's um it's the exhaust in the visual customization, not the performance. Yep. Just in case you're wondering. Yeah. But it does it does change how the way the car sounds. Um, the next one is from RX Beast. He says, if you were to work with a film director on a car racing film, who would it be and why? Now I don't know any I, car I, directors. Yeah, so I'm just gonna say Michael Bay because <laughs> explosions. <laughs> uh, I don't know yeah. any card. Do you know any of the card directors? Yeah. No, I'm just gonna yeah, cheat yeah, and think... say whoever may, whoever directed Breaking Bad, they could make a good, they like could. not necess yeah, not necessarily a movie, but not necessarily a movie, but an entire TV show dedicated. No TV show, no, no, no. Like it has to be a movie. Mm. Yeah. All right. I don't think a TV show would work in that department. For okay. street racing and stuff, yeah. The next one's from Stance All Day. And um, his first question is, your favorite non-racing movie? I don't know. That's hard. Toy Story 3, because I'm Cam. I would say Toy Story 3, but I think my opinion slightly changed. I don't know. Probably what... Men in Black 1. I Am Legend. Oh, that was so... I Am Legend's your favorite. <laughs> Shit. I Am, I am Legend good. had me gripped on the ending. It was a good film. Um, there was parts yeah, where I was... There was parts where I was tearing up, there was parts where I was on the edge of my seat, there was parts where I was angry, it just... Uh, it's I the only film seen. where I can fully remember every part, like, off by heart. And... Have you seen the two endings? Yeah. I I've seen the two endings. Come again? Isn't that the there's one with two endings? Two <laughs> <laughs> I call it my favourite film, but I don't even know there's two endings. <laughs> 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 okay, well, the, the second, the second no ending is better. No, no spoilers, but yeah. yeah. Uh, Nina? Ultimate ending. I don't know. I honestly don't even know. I'm not much of a movie person. I'm more of a TV card and guy if I had to yeah. pick. I bet after the after we finish recording, I'm going to be like, oh shit, that's my favorite movie. <laughs> same, same. <laughs> I'm going to say Toy Story 3 just as a placeholder, because that's what I always say. Not and my favorite. Way. Not. I, I have no idea. No I actually, idea. I, I'm, I'm a TV guy also. Like, mm. I don't know. Not my favorite movie, but it's another damn fine good movie. Close one is um Nightcrawler. I know, I know which one. Gladiator. That was a really good movie. Gladiator. Um, okay. If we we're seeing racing game or uh, racing movies, I I would have said other than Fast and Furious, I would have said Death Race. Oh yes, that's a good one. That's a good movie. Um, okay, so the next one is uh, again still from Stance All Day. Second question: Are there any plans to make Jay a host? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I'm still an intern. He's yeah, gonna he's be an intern yeah, forever. He's an intern until we deem. Uh, deem Permanent he has, to, he has to pass initiation. Yeah. <laughs> and by initiation, we're gonna kick him in the gut multiple times. 
Besides yeah. the group oh, wow. and then it's like gang initiation. Yeah, gang then, initiation. And then have yeah. intimate lovemaking. So the next one, yeah. Jesus Christ. The next one's from <laughs> the racer you want to be, and he says, uh, "What's the worst car made in your opinion?" Don't uh, save you guys, everyone. Do not say we got a very because you got you would be all be idiots if you said we got a very Four punto. Four punto. Like it's definitely one of my most disliked. <laughs> That's it's straight she, straight up. It is your worst your least favourite car. Well if we're counting count popular cars, I mean obviously there's like day woos and shit. You said Daywoos. There's a guy in the game Daywoo. He put a fart can on it. Yeah. Alright, give yeah. me a reason, give me a reason, a good solid reason why you don't like the guy there on or why it's a bad He looks car. ugly as fuck. Um, I didn't, did I say speed rate? Sorry, did I say speed rate or did I say shit? I just, I just saying what he's gonna say. A lot, should fuck it. a lot of casuals look at it as <laughs> some type of almighty amazing car when really it's a brick that can only go in straight lines. Um, Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012's multiplayer kind of ruined my love for it because that's all people, little kids, would use to ram you off you the thing. You fucking said you love that game, you dumb shit. No, the multiplayer was horrible, but the actual game itself was good. Um, okay. what, what, car I hate, hold on, what car I hate in just because I see it all the time in my country is the Beetle. The Volkswagen Beetle. Bitch, I got uh, that's answer. everywhere. I got a legit answer. One car I legit, well, two cars I legit hate just because they just, they, they just disgust me. Corsa and Fiesta. Absolutely. <laughs> I, <laughs> vow, I vow to never own a Corsa or a Fiesta in my life. That is a disgusting. In the inside, it's tacky. On the outside, it looks like an alien, just like Theo. But that's besides the point. Um, no, I just, I just don't like it. It's disgusting. For me, it probably had the Volkswagen be... up. <laughs> probably have to be the Ford Punto. Um, the Ford it was like this... Punto. <laughs> Yeah, if you guys don't know what it is, it's this Fiat old. Punto. It was an old um. Yeah, it's a Fiat Punto. Fiat. Well, here it's the Ford Pont Punto. So, what yeah, but not. basically, it was so not bad that Fiat. if you got rear-ended, the car would explode. Okay, but well, CJ's got autism, so here's a picture. Oh my god! <laughs> so, the second question from the race you want to be. Bitches are so cray. I'm sorry. The, the but... second question from the race you want to be again is to Jay. Popular questions: uh, Where the fuck is Jay's hairline? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> um, okay, who, who asked this? Uh, the racer you want to be. Oh. Let me, let, I'll explain where my hairline is. Okay, so when I was having intimate love making with your mother, um, <laughs> basically, oh. it was so intense that my hairline just said, no, I this, and jumped off. Of <laughs> <laughs> my hairline since. There you go. Okay, <laughs> the next one's from Nixter9781. Um, he says, when I f uh, start fully doing YouTube, I'm going to record two videos a day and edit both on the same day and upload them daily. Um, do you think this is a good idea? What's the best way to upload videos? Daily. I think you have to gradually work your way gradually up. Gradually make because, your way. Because you're just, gonna, you're just gonna get tired. I mean, even one video a day is enough. Like, I can't be bothered to make two videos a day for a whole fucking year. Because, like, I'll do it for a week. I don't mind doing it for a week. Like, say, for example, when the Crew Wild Run was out, or even when Need for Speed's out right now, I'll, I'm fine with uploading two videos a day. However, when you're in the middle of the summer, say, for example, uh, pro or not even the middle of the summer, like, after games get kind of old, um, you know, and you start running out of ideas to on what video to make, you're going to run into some problems with making two videos a day. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because, like, you're in the middle of that season where you're in the middle of um, a game being released and games released the previous year. So you're going to have a little bit of trouble. So I would say work your way up. Do, like, say, set a schedule for yourself. Do, like, a video on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then maybe on the weekends. And then you can work your way up to daily. And, you know, you just work your way up from there. That's my... Just, uh, my, 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 no, no, you okay. go. my tip is just do what you feel comfortable with. And don't force yourself. Yeah, I I would yeah. say I would say that in the beginning when you just start, just experiment what fits best for you. Yeah. And then That's just I mean. fix Work your, your schedule. Out. Yeah, so fix your schedule. Yeah. All right. So yeah. anyone got anything to add before we go on to the next one? Uh, nope. All right. So the next one is from Air Riders 15. He says, um, "In all seriousness, what do your parents think of you screaming and all the noise you make in Drivecast videos?" <laughs> they don't give a fuck. <laughs> My parents didn't really care for it too much, and they didn't think it was important until we got Hasio Cordoba, and now they kind of leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Speedway. 
Uh, I know my mother actually sometimes gets mad. Sometimes, but I don't care. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Jay, what did you think? About what? About screaming in Drivecast. Um, well, first of all, um, my I live in a different house from mum at the moment, um, so I haven't recorded a um, video at my old house, so I don't have to deal with my mum. My sister, on the other hand, she doesn't really respond to it. It's just the swearing she gets annoyed with. That's about it. So the bad mouth. That's it. Right. I can't. It's, I genuinely can't help it. Well, in videos generally, if I'm recording it too late, like now it's half past midnight. There's definitely people asleep, and if I start to shout now, I definitely come in. My dad bend me over and beat me. What? <laughs> Did you get a baseball bat out? Hit me around the head? To get like a steel chair with like spikes on the end? <laughs> what, Bob? He go out for a drive with you on the front shield of his no, white I, Porsche. I, I, I try to record my videos in the day when people aren't here. Because I feel more comfortable like that when people are in the house. It's like I'm yeah, a bit more conserved. Yes, definitely. Yeah. definitely. And it's, yeah. it's not even like on purpose. It's, the same. It's, just, it's just a subliminal thing. Like I'm a bit yeah. more conserved. Um, but when I'm a, 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 a home alone, or you know, when there's only like one or two people in the house, I'm I'm a bit more. Just, yeah. Like, so you're. Mm, what is going? Yes. Like yeah. Yes. I'm a bit more outgoing, I guess. Yeah, I can't I can't record anything basically after 9 p.m. because that's when my parents go to bed. So, I have to do all my videos. Like, I won't be able to make, get a video out tonight, so I'm probably going to upload if they let me. My, mission, my, my, my main issue Thanks, is, but, yeah. literally, behind that door there, you can hardly see it because it's really dark, but behind that door there is my sister's room. She's literally, like, three yards that way. So, if she's going to sleep, best believe it's game over. Um, otherwise, yeah. I can be on making videos whenever I want. Like, sometimes I stream at really late times, best, especially... A couple of years ago, when I was in, in this community specifically, I was in the FIFA community. I'd stream till like two in the morning sometimes. In um, his dining room. In my dining room. That was a bit different, yeah. But like, it's basically whenever she goes to sleep, I can just do whatever I want. Even when she goes to sleep, like you hear me in Skype calls all the time. I yell the <laughs> shit and I get told off. But it's it's funny AF, yeah, so I don't care. <laughs> those those dining room fun. days. Those dining room days. Yeah, yeah, if you go back on some of my old videos, you'll see it. But. Um, uh, that was from the Air Rise 15. Uh, the next one is from Razer GT2. And his question is Would you rather have a Rivals 2, Drive Club 2, or Project Cars 2? Drive Club 2. Drive Club 2, even Drive though I never played it. Drive Club 2. Never played Drive Club 1. That's all my questions from my video. I have a question. Um, now, now, this one is not generic at all, it's actually straight on point. In Need for Speed 2015, what do you think of the song Junior Prom Stand? I'm not a big fan of it. Which one's that? I don't know. Wub, wub, dub, dub. I, 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 all I can say is that I actually do like What's the. It What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Um, junior prom stand. I'm gonna play it because I don't know what it is. Yeah, me neither. Hold up, I'm just getting it up real quick. Okay, here we go. Oh, that song. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna just put it low. No. Yeah, Sounds like an advert song from the UK or a commercial song. Like a song That's that a good song. Sounds like a good cool FIFA it, song. Yeah. But yeah, it's like it. EA, it's like EA. sports games menus. It feels. It, it, it suits Need for Speed weirdly enough. It does. Yeah. It weirdly suits Need for Speed, so. Good song. Uh, I, 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 good song. Uh, oh my god. Um, it's it's before one for the credits, we, right? Bef bef it's the one for the credits of the. Before, the before we end, can I add like a bonus topic? Um, yeah. The launch trailer. Then it's in the You don't want to mess with the man. Nice. We want to let free. Oh my we god. Most Gangs of Paradise. Oh my god. Oh. Paradise. I think that launch table first. Again, that was everything the best they've released so far. That shit gave me that was shivers. the best trailer so far, in my opinion. Hands down. Yeah. The best trailer yeah, so far. Yeah, that actually the was real. I was nine, talking to Cam yesterday. Yeah, no, I this, and I said. The E3 trailer was unreal, but this was kind of structurally the best. Yeah. yeah, I was talking to Cam yesterday, or I think it was today. It might have been today. I don't know. I don't remember. But we said that this launch trailer was probably the best trailer. It just didn't have the most shock value because the E three trailer and the teaser trailer. Yeah. I think those have the most shock, shock value, value. Just because more, I, it, it gave me more shivers for some reason. It, it kind this of was released yes. E three. Lord knows. They're just the song. Yeah, oh the choice God. of song, the choice of shots, the, you know, when the Mustang, the engine turns on, the, the <sighs> dust plays. For, oh my God! If this were, oh. was released at E3, oh. I think I would have no. a heart attack. Like, uh, oh, my, my, my Skype is broken. Yeah. 
Oh no. Whoa. Uh, oh no. But that was weird. Jim was yeah, talking. Everyone's audio just cut out. Uh, well, we'll yeah, I, I couldn't yeah. hear anyone. Okay, we'll what the, the fuck? Right now. But yeah. um, yeah, I I really like the trailer. So it's, yeah. all, it's all good. It's all it's good. good. It's all good. Um, so if you want to leave questions for next week's Drivecast, make sure to leave them down in the comments down below. We hope you enjoyed this somewhat Halloween special. <laughs> and, oh my god, it's one, one hour 40 minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, extra long Halloween special. So again, Second one in a row that was extra long. Let me fucking speak, you autistic. <laughs> If you enjoyed, hit like, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next episode along with everyone else here. Um, Bye. Go ahead and yes. subscribe down to all our channels in the description if CJ is going to put it in. And we will see you guys later. And that's where before we go. Peace. Chase Mixtape 2018. Nifas.